Hello everyone, Fixer here, and this is a quick review of the first week in A Tale in the Desert, Tale 8. The goal of this video is to give you a quick overview of what happened over the first week in Egypt, such as unlocked research, uh, the census, and any other events. And by week I mean everything up until exactly seven days after launch. Tale 8 launched on Friday, March 2nd at noon US Central Time, which is 6pm GMT. So this is going to cover from that point up until the same exact time on Friday, March 9th. Some things have surely unlocked or changed from that time until this video goes up. Timestamps will be below in the description if you would like to jump to a specific section. This video is for casuals that perhaps don't check the wiki and or discord. If you're a hardcore player, you probably won't be getting anything from this video. I suppose a good place to start is to see what research has completed. If you're just now returning to Egypt, this will give you a, a good idea as to how far along we are in the tech tree. And if you're new to Egypt, this will give you perhaps some direction on what you may want to tackle next. Since each faction does its own research, I will split them up by faction so you know which faction has unlocked what. Alright, let's move on to principles and tests. All seven principles are available to get started. And remember, you can start these at either a school or a university. At the time of this recording, the principles of harmony and worship are impossible to complete. Moving quickly on to tests, we have four tests unlocked at this time. The first test made available to us was the test of the elder, and this was not unlocked by the player base, but manually offered to us by the stranger himself. He popped into chat, and uh, each faction had one hour to choose their elder through discussion in their faction chat. We did so in the uh, first elders in Tale 8 would be Manon for the Hyksos, Lulu Divine for Kush, and Balur Hatho for Meshwesh. And now the first voting period for Elder has begun at the time of this video. They're currently in round one. The test of the Safari was the first test to be unlocked by traditional means. For those that don't know, every four animals that you catch will net you a permanent strength point. The test of the singing cicada has begun and appears to do advancements every 24 hours. There have been four advancements at the time of this video, with the latest one costing 7,546 points. Keep in mind, by the time you see this video, this number has changed. And a reminder that advancing in the test of the singing cicada will net you permanent speed points. And finally, the test of the oyster catcher is the most recent unlock. By completing these puzzles and putting specific pearls in your necklace, you can gain permanent endurance points. Alright, let's move on to a little faction news. So Egypt in Tale 8 has 50 regions. Each faction has 3 regions which are permanent and cannot change hands, which means 41 of the regions are up for grabs by the factions that are offering the most impressive tribute to that region. On Sunday, March 4th, we saw the first distribution of regions to the factions. I'll put those up on the screen. Hyksos has 10 regions, Meshwesh has 6, and Kush has 2. Though we don't know for sure, we are expecting the regions to be redistributed sometime on Sunday, March 11th. The Pharaoh's Angler is a title given to the person who has caught the most fish. The first angler given to the person that first catches 100 fish was Redshift. It has changed hands numerous times, and at the time of making this video, the angler was Sabuli. And of course, it's certainly changed hands multiple times by the time this video has gone up. Okay, we're moving on to story. We got ourselves some new characters in Egypt. We found that the stranger has an assistant that he likes to berate and abuse. Uh, their interactions can be found in the story channel. And if you're not in the story channel, you can simply type slash join story in your main chat. There's a new character known as the High Elder which has challenged each of the factions to complete sign construction in the honor of their king within 24 hours of the announcement. The reward would be that the king would fulfill our linen requirements for the subsequent technology that sign construction would open up, which ended up being banner construction. All three factions completed this task, and banners appear to give a stat buff when you're within range of them, but we're still learning the details and specifics about how they work. And finally, the census. You can see these numbers for yourself by checking out a University of Leadership. The numbers on screen represent what the census was around 12 p.m. U.S. Central Time on Friday, March 9th. These have certainly changed by the time this video goes up, and we have yet to have initiates into harmony and worship, which are both impossible at this time. The three students of leadership are our current elders, 
And the one student of body, I'm told, has completed the test of the oyster catcher. That completes my recap of the first week in A Tale in Desert Tale 8. So if you'd like to see more of these recap videos, let me know in the comments below. And additionally, if there are any specific events or achievements you feel would fit this format, let me know that too. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. We'll see ya. Bye-bye.